Hi, it's Phil and welcome to this how-to video from Delphi Technologies. In this video, we're gonna be looking at replacing the upper arm on a Tesla Model S. A Little bit of a common failure on this particular arm where the bush becomes detached from the arm and then you've got some free movement in that wheel. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this now. First step on there is to lift what Tesla call the frunk, since there's no engine on there, and we need to remove all of the interior components here from the frunk. Let's do that now. So we can remove the frunk cover. Just have to disconnect the lighting here. And there is also a second electrical connector underneath for the emergency um, release switch for the frunk. Next, we need to remove the plastic inside the frunk. We have two eight mils at the front, two 13 mils at the back. Let's do that now. There are a few clips just around the edge. We need to just be a little bit careful as we remove those and we can finally then remove the entire frunk. We then have to just push through some wiring at the bottom where that comes through. Now all the frunk is removed, you can see everything under here is exposed. We're gonna just move the trim here out of the way, allowing us to access the top suspension arm. We can simply move it out here and we can fold it back and under there, giving us that full access now to the suspension arm. We're gonna go ahead and remove the first top nut there um, and begin removing the arm. Let's remove this nut and we're gonna just use this to release it. Top part's done, let's get the wheel off so we can get access to that top arm. The next two steps are remove the pinch bolt. We're gonna have to pull the wheel arch liner back um, so we can gain access to the rear mounting bolt for the top arm. Before we do that, what we're just gonna do is we're gonna put a bungee just round here. So when we do take that knuckle off, there's, we don't have that risk then of it coming forwards. So we'll just put that around there like that. It just secures it, preventing it from coming forwards. We can now under the top, Perfect, that's done. Now what I'm gonna do is, just to stop me damaging this when I try and tap it out, because it's gonna be tight, I'll just spin the nut back on. And that way, when I do hit that, it's now free. I can spin the nut back off, hit it all the way flush. Last thing to do is get a punch, knock it through, and then release that arm. Now that's out, we can simply release the ball joint up. And it's time now to pull the wheel arch liner back so we can gain access to that last bolt. Right, we've moved the wheel arch liner out of the way to gain access. The rear bolt, as you can see, we're on the gun there. It's really hard to show this in the, in the video. There is, the other side is actually a captive nut in the chassis, so you don't need to hold the other side. Simply um, pull the trigger, take that bolt out, and then we're almost ready to remove the arm. There we go, bolts out, goes straight through the arm like that, um, into the captive nut. We've levered top and bottom just to get it clear, and then we can now pull that arm clear. So you can see all the corrosion on this old arm. And again, we were saying that sometimes this bush becomes detached because it's in that orientation, therefore the grease is always falling to the bottom, which can cause it to wear a little bit quicker. We're now gonna replace it with the Delphi arm and uh, put it straight on. The complete arm's now fitted. Everything's tightened and torqued here and torqued here as well. Just one thing to note before the wheel goes back on, if this vehicle had air suspension, this one's on coil springs, then there is an additional height sensor connected from the body to this little part here. So you would just have to remove that as well. That's really the only difference if you're running on air compared to this car, which is just running on coil springs. Let's put the wheel back on, torque everything up, and then we're done. 
Thanks for watching this video on how to replace a top arm on a Tesla Model S. Be sure to follow us on social media and check out our other videos on our Masters of Motion hub. See you next time.